Hello, welcome to Hubrick Bull Sessions. My name is Ulf, and today we're going to talk about balanced audio. Yeah, uh, we're going to talk about balanced audio signals, uh, why they are great, why you need to use them, and why it works and how it works. This may be a bit basic for some of you who have been doing this for a long time, but I think a lot of people are just using balanced cables because you know you're supposed to, but you really don't know why and how it works. So I think this can be a little bit interesting for at least a few of you. Now I'm gonna give you a little demonstration video of how a balanced signal cable is built and how that makes it, everything work. So here we have a regular microphone cable, which is probably the most common um, balanced uh, audio signal cable. And now we're gonna take a look at how it's built and constructed. So we're gonna cut off this connector here the XLR connector. And so what we have here inside is two signal cables, one red and one white, uh, hot and cold, or plus and minus, whatever you want to call it. And we also have this uh, wrapper or shield that goes around it to protect uh, a little bit against outside noise or electrical interference. Uh, and what differs this from an unbalanced cable is that it, an unbalanced cable only have one signal cable and one shield. And how this balanced cable works, from the signal source, microphone or balanced line out or whatever, um, you're gonna send a signal through those two signal cables out of phase with each other, which means if you're gonna get that back out of phase with each other, you're gonna have no sound. And I'm gonna show that to you a little bit later. So we send a signal out of phase with each other through those two cables. And when it arrives at the other end, it's flipped back. Obviously get uh, more amplitude if we compare it to an unbalanced cable, uh, since we have the signal times two. Since the cable is picking up a lot of noise through its path, it's picking up noise in both the signal cables. But since the signals are going out of phase with each other, and when it arrives at the other end, the phase is flipped back, what's gonna happen is that the noise sounds will cancel each other out and we only have clean signal left. And as I said, an unbalanced cable only have one signal cable and one shield. So what's happening there is going through and it's picking up noise and uh, we only have the shield as protection, which is working a little bit, but not as effective as totally canceling out all the noise. So this is why you want to use balanced cable in a studio environment or a live environment where you mix a lot of electrical and audios. Uh, cables uh, and especially if you run long length of cable uh, the, the longer they are the more noise they're going to pick up with a balanced cable you can run a really long length of signal without any noise getting through the only thing that maybe will happen is that you get some uh, signal quality loss due to long cable runs but that's a totally different issue I also have a little sound clip demonstration of how this works uh, because I wrapped an uh, unbalanced audio cable uh, around uh, a power transformer <laughs> to make it take up a lot of noise. And I sent the same signal out of phase with each other and back into uh, Cubase again. And then I flip the phase back and uh, we get the signal and no noise. So here I have the, the signal from the two unbalanced cables that I've wrapped around the power transformer so it obviously has a lot of noise. I just sent a regular sine wave through it and we can listen to what that sounds like here before we sent it through the cable. And then we sent it through both cables so here's what one cable sounds like. And here we have the other. So as I said, we send those two signals out of phase with each other. So this is what's happening when it's running through the cable. If it would come back like this, we would have only noise and no signal. But then we come to the grand finale of the signal receiving place uh, where the phase is flipped back. And then we get this. And so here, no noise is passing through. And now we have just clean signal. 
really really smart really simple and really cool and now you know why you need to use it if you want uh, a more technical explanation and less uh, practical explanation of how this works uh, just search around on youtube or uh, on the rest of the internet there are a lot of information about this yeah so that's all i have this week uh, thank you so much for watching would love to get some comments on this please like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and share this with friends that might be interested and see you again next week bye bye cheers